Greetings people. It's Mr. Paul the Trigger yet again on another episode of the Enlightenment series. So I received a call from one of Enenche's spiritual son who started off as very aggressive but he became lukewarm in the process and became very aggressive again because he does not really know what he is fighting for. He does not really know what he is defending. Do you know what this is what the sons and daughters of these charlatans do? They have no clue as to what they are defending. They are just emotionally attached and addicted to the falsehood of their fathers. So whenever we come to expose their brutality, they feel like we are defaming their characters. So his point of argument was to say, responding to the video that I once posted, that I posted I think a day, a day ago, which I was saying that Enesha has hired Yahoo boys some IT Yahoo boys to come and try to hack into my accounts by those emails that I sent you that they were trying to get me, you know, to fish me out and try to get me to click their, their dubious links so that they can have access to my personal information and maybe passwords and stuff like that so that they can be able to log in in one of my platforms and try to have control of what I'm publishing. And all these emails started coming when I started addressing the issue of Ada. The Ad Ada is the guy that they are framing for rape. Ada is the guy that they are taking to court, that they are illegally discharging from his employment simply because he knows too much. They don't want him to leave without them having something that they can use against him in case he decides to talk about the things that he witnessed or the things that he observed while he was still a tutor at their academy, at their university. You know, all of these charlatans, they have some you know, academic institutions which they are running uh, to further their, you know, their operations and their occultic establishments. So the guy was saying, why would you think poor Enesha will stoop so low to hire who boys to try to hack into your accounts? And my argument was, if poor Enesha can frame an innocent man for rape, if poor Enesha and his wife can recruit six minors, six underaged girls to go and testify in court without the consent of their parents against Ada, just so that they can prove a point, then it means poor Enesha can do anything. There's no integrity there. From this man called Enesha, there's no integrity. From a point of integrity, poor Enesha is disqualified. So he's capable of doing anything. He can indeed assign Yahoo boys and pay them good money for them to try to disrupt this message, to disrupt this exposure, so that his image remains clean. Because that's what they're trying to do. They don't want the world to know who they really are. Because what they're wearing, the smiles that you see on the internet, on their public profiles, on their Facebook pages, on their YouTube, during their sermons, they're wearing masks. They're not revealing to you who they really are. So Mr. Pull the Trigger is coming to remove that mask and show you people and show to the world who really Anensha is together with his wife. This duo is trying to put this brother called Ada in a corner. They tried to negotiate with him for him to admit to a crime that he did not commit, the crime of rape. And to put this whole thing into perspective, to show the true nature of Enesha and his wife. If they claim, as Becky claims, that they have a footage of Adam molesting a young lady, a minor, at the school, why do they have to go the extra mile of recruiting six more minors, six more students, who should come to back the allegation that they laid against Ada? Why can't they just bring the footage? The footage will tell the whole story. There's no need for testimonies. There's no need for any witnesses that can come to attest that, yes, this teacher did this to us. Because these are minors. The jury will just believe the minors. The judge will just believe the minors. Because these kids, these little kids that, that will be recruited by an ancient his wife, they will just come and say, this teacher did this to us. This teacher has been doing this to us. And an innocent man will probably be thrown, will be thrown into prison for a crime that he did not commit. That's how diabolical these people are. So when we talk about them, when we expose that other side of them, their dark side, their sons and daughters, 
who become emotional and aggressive. And their initials are the ones who sent them to come and try to intimidate me. To come and try to harass me the same way that they are doing to Ada. To come and try to threaten me because the brother was threatening me. But listen, before you think or before you even think of calling me to threaten me, you must know who you are dealing with, man. I have a thicker skin. Even with a, with a gun on my head, I'm the man that will never say I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't shake with telephonic threats. Not just telephonic, come right here face to face. The problem is people think I'm hiding. I'm not hiding, I'm right here. If you want to meet me, call me, send me a location, I'll come to where you are. Then you'll do nothing. Absolutely nothing. The only thing you can do is to threaten and try to put fear, but come on, man. Do I look like I'm shaken? Come on. What's wrong with the tonality of my voice? That makes you assume that there's an iota of fear within me. There is a fiber of, uh, of uh, timidness that can make me bow down to anyone. When you're standing for the truth, you have nothing to be afraid of. You fear no evil. And they're saying that, no, how can you say Ineshe is faking miracles? How can you say Ineshe is doing this? We are defaming his character. Come on, let him sue me in court. And I can prove it that Ineshe is faking miracles. I can prove it that Ineshe does not have the power to heal anyone. This is things that are easy to prove. It's not defamation of character. I'm just picking the obvious. That is deceiving people. He's lying to people. That is capable of what he's not capable of. Bring me Ineshe right now. And let me show you that he can't heal anyone. Let's put them to test. Is it defamation for me to come and say Enesha does not have healing power? It's not. It's the truth. All those the things that you see on the TV, they are stage managed. Let's put them to test. Let's take them to where real sick people are. And you'll see. We should do like some sort of an investigation to find out the addresses of all those people that they say they have healed. Let's go, let's visit them and see if they're really healed. You'll be surprised, you'll be shocked. So I want you to listen to the, to the threats that I got from this baby charlatan who was calling me from overseas. He claims he's a businessman. He claims he's all that I don't think he is because his level of intellect is below par. But just listen to the levels, to the level of his threaten, of his threats and all the other rubbish things that he was saying. But I just want to tell the initial people or any other charlatans out there that I'm not shaking people. I'm not hiding. I'm not running. I'm not, I'm, I'm not afraid of anything. Because what I'm standing for is the truth. The truth fights for itself. You try to fight against it. You try to contest it. But at the end of the day, it will prevail. So listen to the... Dear Bako, that I had with this, uh, with this ignorant brother. You look now on your own side. I don't know. I mean, I don't know how old you are, but on your own side, how on earth would you think such thing that Pastor Paul in Asia will still so no to hire a young boy to hack your Facebook account? Yeah, I know he's capable of doing that. If he can frame an he innocent man, if he can frame Paul an innocent man for what. He is capable, to me, he's capable of doing that. Can you listen to me, please? No, can you also listen to me? You asked me a question, right? You said, how okay. low can Paul okay. and Ninja stoop to a point of trying to hack my digital platforms? And then I responded to say, if Paul and Ninja can frame Ada for rap, an innocent man for rap, he's capable of doing anything. He has no integrity whatsoever. So, why, why do you think... He is Paul and Nancy. There are so many reasons why I think it's Paul and Nancy. Now listen, the job you are doing is, is, is unbecoming. How so? You said? How so? How is it unbecoming? Good. Yeah, do you know why? Because you are getting on our nerves. Whose nerves? You are, you are, you, listen, listen to me, young man. You, you were, you, you were truthful at some point but later on we discovered that you are able to try to make money via your platforms who is we you and who 
every Nigerian. Why don't you face those pastors in your place? I can face any pastor that I want. Sakuma. I don't have to face the ones Sakuma in my place. In your, in your, in your country. I want the ones in Nigeria. You follow the ones in your country. You would have been dead if you have been following those Sagomas in your country. Yeah, so you know it's a good move to follow the ones in Nigeria so that I don't die, right? See, profess, you need to look for another job. This is the best one for me. Unless if you offer you are me a one. Jobless man. That's why you are, you are trying to make money online. Unless if you offer and me one. And that's the best way to make it. You if say, I see you personally, I will do with you. I can come to your country and deal with you. Do you don't know he's talking to you? Deal with me how? I can arrest you and place you where you will not be found in your life. Listen to yourself. I know you will record it. Record it and put it online. I can call you. I can call my name for you. Yeah, call it. I'm recording you. You are recording it? Yeah. You are recording it, right? I no. wanted to record it. Come on, I the said that. You are, going about, you are now I sounding like... Poster, I was so... I was bored. Oh my God. Why would you insult God's generals? Which generals? You are insulting men of God. True men of God. Which ones? Which ones? You, okay, from your own perspective, you, you haven't even show, show anyone that is good among all. How, can, how, how is it possible for every man of God to be bad? My eye, is possible? my eye is for detecting the false ones. You can choose the correct the other one. time, can. listen to me. The other time, you insulted Apostle Arume or Sai. Mm -hmm. why, would you have, why would you insult Apostle Arume? What is an insult? You insulted Apostle Arume. Apostle Arume wasn't even talking to you. I say you what, said that somebody... What is an insult? They, they Do you know an pastors. insult? Do you know an insult? Do I know an insult? Yeah, when I correct errors, I'm not maybe insulting because, anyone. Maybe because, maybe because you are in South Africa, maybe your brain is not working as an African. My brother, you talk too much. That's really, your, you talk too much. That's your I problem. I talk too much. I will yeah. deal with you, Profess. How? It will tell me to I'm telling you right now. How will you deal How with you? How will I deal with you? Yeah. I will pass it now. I will be responsible to hack your accounts. Are you no, you don't no, have no. you don't have that ability? Don't lie to yourself. I don't like myself. Don't, Can we try? Don't lie to yourself. You you don't have that capacity and that ability and that know-how of doing anything of I that sort. I will personally report you. Report I me. I will personally report your platform. My friend, report everywhere that you want. Do you think you will be the first one to report my platform? Listen, uh, Profess, um, I want us to come live. Listen. You sound like a like a little boy now. First, you threatened me I that you would deal with me. You arrest me. Second, you, you, you second you threatened that you report my account. Now you are saying you want to come live with me. Which platform do you want to come auto live auto with me after you have hacked my account? <laughs> are you up to forty five years? Doesn't matter. Your age is actually a, <laughs> enough evidence to show that these are just years Listen that have been wasted. Profess. You are just, you are just, you are just, you are just being foolish. How so? You are, you are just being foolish. Don't stop insulting men of God. You insult Adeboye. You insult Yudebo. You insult Ebedamina. You insult Aposwarume. You insult Suleiman. You insult Jeremiah. You insult all the old pastors in Nigeria. What of the useless pastors in your country that are, that are doing Arenji? Yeah, you can. In you your can, country, your, your fake pastors in your country that you, are prophesying rubbish. You can focus on the ones in my country. Let me focus on Why the ones in your country. Why can't you focus on those ones, those Sagomas? The Sagomas in your country. Why can't you focus on them? They came from Nigeria. They didn't come from Nigeria. Yes. They are from your country. No, your they, country is the most corrupt. They came from Nigeria, my brother. Your country is the most corrupt in Africa. Where are, you, no, no, no. where are you even calling from? Why did you run away from I'm Nigeria? Calling. I can see your why number. Did I run is, away from Nigeria? Yeah, your number is not in Nigeria. Why did I run away from? I listen. I I am an I'm an investor and I'm an I'm international businessman. I travel from Nigeria to Indiana every time. You don't sound I smart. I come though. to your country. You don't sound I have smart. Business though. partners in your country. You don't sound smart though. I feel sorry for your business partners. Look, you feel sorry for my business partners. Your English are not even clear. Look at your 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 your, your look at your accent. Your accent, the way you are talking about this thing, delighted series. I'm very angry with you. From the bottom of my heart, I hate you. 
proverbs. You don't like the truth. No sense. You are addicted. Maybe to this is the best. Maybe maybe this is the, the best confrontation you've ever had in your life. And the next time I will confront you, I will deal with you. I make sure I come single-handedly. I come to South Africa to get you arrested. Do you think they have not tried that already? The, the, the one they tried, they didn't do anything to you. You were handed over to legal people. So what Idiot. makes you think you will succeed? I will hand you over to illegal people. You have to stop this. Let's stop this. Why don't you face the Muslims? You can force them. You can face them. I can face them. I'm yeah. not jobless like you, please. I'm not jobless like you. So, you are withdrawing money from Facebook. You are withdrawing money from Instagram. You think we don't know your secrets? Who is you are we? withdrawing money from YouTube. You want all the platforms to pay you. You keep saying we. We don't know we. Who you and who? You are referring to we, you and who? Listen, I'm referring to all Nigerians, please. Ah, come on. Those ones that are supporting you on your platform, they are stupid. Why are you addicted to false prophets, though? What? Why are you addicted to false prophets? Why are you defending charlatans? I am not, I am not addicted to any false prophet. I am not addicted to any charlatan. So let me ask you a question. Let say, me ask you a question. How do you know a charlatan? Listen, man, stop talking. You are talking a lot of nonsense. I'm going to ask you a question. Are you happy ask with me. what? Are you happy with what these prophets have done to the nation of Nigeria? With what they are doing right what now? What have they done? If I may ask, I will use question to answer question this time. What have they done to the nation of Africa of Nigeria? These people are robbing poor poor souls, poor believers, manipulating and lying to them and enriching themselves. What positive contribution have they brought to the nation of Nigeria? What did Ayodepo My do for the nation of Nigeria? Hello. Or Ayodepo? They Jeremiah Omoto. What have they, they have done? Other than lying Listen, to people and done, stealing money they from done people. A lot. They have done a lot. They are even more helpful than the government of our country. You see how gullible you sound right now. You don't have facts and figures. You're just speaking out of ignorance. Why don't you face why don't you face your country? You failed to answer my question. Now you are running to me you asking me to money face from my country. At this time, please. You were a pastor. Why did you resign? My brother. People perish because of lack of knowledge. You don't have knowledge of what you are talking about. Because nothing was coming out. You are too. You are envious of. You are envious of these people. Why didn't you make it a ministry? Which Why ministry? did you resign from being a pastor who to being you, a prophet? Who prophet? told you I was a pastor? They told me you are an ex-prophet. Who is we? People told me that you were you were an ex prophet. I've been asking about you. I've been trying to get your details. You are even a homosexual because you have no wife. Wow. I have never been a prophet. I will never be a prophet. I don't intend no plans of becoming a prophet. But you were a pastor. I was never a pastor. What church were you attending? I did not even attend any of these shrines. I was blessed enough. Then you are a pagan. You are a pagan and you are, you are criticizing the body of Christ. There's no body of Christ that is being represented by the jack house that you have just God mentioned. God gives you the temerity to insult the body of Christ, especially, most, most importantly, God's choosing nation, Nigeria. But that's where all this madness is coming from. That's why we have to deal with Nigeria. First. To me, God has chosen the nation of Nigeria to, to preach Christ. That's in why. All the nations of the yeah, earth. God chose the nation of Nigeria. That's why He has sent me to deal with false prophets in nigeria god never sent you i from your from the way you talk you have not even encountered god so you do you, you encounter lucifer so you sound lucifer like sent you on this <laughs> listen young man lucifer sent you my brother how old are you you want to know my age yes i won't tell you my age but i know i'm older than you but just give me an idea how old are you Listen, young man. I'm listening. I just asked you a simple question. I, How old are you? I am. Listen, I know you want to insult me. <laughs> you want to insult me, Prof. X. Listen. I don't, I don't want to insult me. I don't want to insult me. I'm 45. You will insult me. You are how much? Eh? You are, you are how much? If I tell you I'm 45, you will insult me. 
I will not. Just tell me if you are 45. Are you 45? So I will never tell you my age, but I know you are in your 30s. And you? <laughs> Prophets, if you are wise, you will stop doing this and go to, you. I mean, start on, start another online business. Go and look for a business to do. But my brother, with all, the, with, all, with all being said, right, like putting facts into realization, what these men are doing to believers, to the church of God, is unjustified. What do you think they have done? They I have are, not seen anything these men have done. They are preaching if, diabolical doctrines. Has anyone, they are has misleading anyone complained believers. To you? Has anyone complained to you? And we have the likes of Jeremiah Omoto that keep harassing innocent women okay. like Ruth Matthew. We have the like of Paul okay, Onenche that keeps framing and lying to people like Ada. We have your likes of okay. Solomon that are sleeping with every woman that they come across. We have your likes of Odepo that are robbing innocent victims of their money, innocent souls to hire depots, introducing people into cults. Prophets. Tell me one sin prophet from Nigeria. One sin. One prophet that is standing for the truth. That is not misleading people. That, okay, is, not in, that is not enriching himself at the expense of vulnerable believers. Just one. Or Can one I that is something? preaching the true gospel. Okay. Now, we have so many apostles in Nigeria that are preaching the true gospel. Which ones? <laughs> like, Apostle Arumet preached the true gospel. Which, which Apostle gospel? Uh, Selman. Which gospel Selman. does he preach? Which gospel does he preach? Let's start. Do you even know what, what is a true gospel? If I may ask you if I may ask you that question. I know the true gospel. What is the true even gospel? The, what, what is the true gospel? You, we are preaching Christ. I said, what is the true gospel? Christ is the true gospel. Christ is not the true gospel. Christ was a messenger. What is the true? Who brought the, what true, is gospel? the true gospel? Who brought the true gospel? The true gospel. Oh God! So if you are preaching Christ, oh, you are not preaching the true gospel. Christ never say when I'm gone, preach about me. You tell me the true gospel. He said, preach this message. The the kingdom gospel. The kingdom. Who is the kingdom? My brother, what kind of questions are these that you are asking now? I thought you were an okay, intellectual businessman. Listen, let me explain a scenario for you. The Bible said the kingdom of heaven is within us. Okay? Which verse is that? Listen to me. I said, you said the kingdom of heaven. Young man, listen. No, I agree with you. I know that verse, but I'm just I'm asking which verse is it. I have not landed you have to wait for me to finish talking before you ask your questions. You don't obstruct me. Okay? Are you with me? Okay, go on. Good. If, if, if you have any questions, you can ask me. But it's when I'm finished talking. So, the Bible said, the kingdom of heaven is within us. Mm -hmm. And if, if this kingdom is within us, that means... It grows within us. It means what? It grows within us because he said the kingdom of heaven is is it can be likened to it is a uh, 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 that's <laughs> Luke seventeen. Listen to me. Listen to me. Okay. I'm Luke listening. seventeen. Uh -huh. Yeah. Luke, are you with me? Luke seventeen from oh. verse twenty one. So, you can see, I'm trying to... No, it's fine. You can open your Bible. You. I will give you time. Listen, I'm not opening. Now, he say, are you with me? I'm with From you. verse 21, it says, Neither shall they say, lo here or lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? He said, and he said unto the disciples, the days will come when ye shall desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and ye shall not see it. 
Mm-hmm. What who was he referring to? No, go on. Explain your scripture, brother. You are the one who opened it. I'm asking you a question. No. I, I can even see you don't know the Bible. Don't ask me a question from your own uh, scripture extraction. You explain the scripture that you opened, and I'll explain it for you in a better way. <laughs> this guy is very funny. <laughs> You are very funny. You just pulled out you a verse funny. and you can't even explain the verse within the context of I that message. Listen, listen to me. Are you with me? My brother, don't keep asking me if I'm with you. I'm with you. I just explain your verse that you have opened. I have explained it. What have you explained? I told you that the kingdom of God is within us, and which means, if the kingdom of God is within us, the Bible also says that our body is the temple of God. <laughs> Do you see, God you sound... dwells within our body. Listen. My brother, you sound very smart to someone who's stupid. There's nothing that you have said here. You're just all Listen. over. You're just all over the place because you're taught false doctrines by these, your generals okay, of God. Okay, I'm, I'm not listening. Can I let me let me get you to somewhere else? Don't get me to somewhere else. We're talking about the kingdom of the kingdom gospel, the kingdom of heaven, the gospel which must be preached by your Nigerian false <laughs> prophets, which they are failing to preach because they don't have a revelation what of, what of, South of the gospel. False what about South African false prophets? Do you know that ninety eight percent of the false prophets in South Africa are from Nigeria? They are not. Trust me, you're not in South Africa, I'm telling you now. The, the Bushiri, where is he from? Bushiri constitutes the 2%. That's why I said 98%. Bushiri what? That's why I said 98%. The Bushiris are Bushiri. in the 2% bracket. Mm-hmm. What, of, what, of, what about Afaluka? He's also, he's also in the 2% bracket. Good. Now, those prophets, why are you not attaching them? I'm not attacking any prophets. That's where you're getting this whole thing wrong. Okay, a prophet. Prophet. Mm. Before I leave you, before I leave you now, I want to drop something for you. Mm. What I want to drop is that I want to tell you that the way the way ministry is being faked. In South Africa, by Bushiri and all the rest okay, of them. Okay, listen, my brother, you are offering now. Let's just agree, you know, on some things before you go. That you don't know anything yes. about the scripture, that you were never taught about the kingdom gospel. And uh, let's also conclude that uh, all the threats that you were trying to give me are just useless. So that you yeah, can, are, 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 you, are they useless? Yeah, they are useless. And uh, the other thing are that I want to leave you with is please seek the face of Christ, stop exalting men. Christ is the center of all things. Have a personal relationship Listen. with Christ, with God, and stop, Profess, stop, you have no respect. Stop. You have no respect. That is why you are in one position. The truth respects no men. That is why you are no stagnated. Status. You are, no status. You have no the truth is neutral, my brother. Whether you, you are, like, you are, in fact, you are a confused man. Defend Christ, not you man. Co- Fight for Christ, you are not, confused, not for you are men. A confused man. The next time you pick up your, you. the next time you, we pick, will fight you this time. Who, we will fight you. You and who? We will fight you. You and who? I and all Nigerians will fight you. Okay, you can give it a try, my brother. Let's see. We will fight you. Let's let's see who is God on their side. God is not on your side. Then prove it. I'm proving it that He is on my side. When last did you hear from God? I said, I'm proving it that God is on my side. You have been fighting me. When last did you hear from God? You have been fighting me. You have been contemplating on fighting me. But all your plans your will never yield in your any results. With God, when last did you hear from God? In your dealings with this God, when last did you hear from Him? Every time I open my Bible, I'm hearing from God. Proverbs, your Bible is not complete. 
then we should we should talk about you getting me a complete one then i can get you a new job okay my brother before we waste more time with you demonstrating your ignorance let me just leave you with the word you of you seeking the truth like i said go seek you the truth go seek the, go seek, go seek the truth go stand for christ you are the Pharisee and Sadducees that 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 almost crashed the ministry of Jesus Christ. You you you, you know you know in every generation your type exists. Yeah, in this generation, I'm that type that is going to bring down all the falsehood in the body of Christ. If before you bring it down, you go down. If I go down with it, the better. If you go down, you are doomed. And I would have laid the foundation. For even more My radical, friend, for even more to radical uh, we have found that fighters, that are freedom fighters. And we have found out that you are bedwetting. We found out that you are homosexual. Mm. What else did Why you don't find you out? for a wife? What else did you find out? We found out that you slept with, you have been sleeping with your secretary. Okay. What else did you find out? We find out that you have no job of your own. Mm -hmm. What else did you find out? And we found out that you were an ex-pastor who was confused because nobody was coming to your church because you have nothing to preach. Hey, my brother, your ignorance is annoying me now. But like I said earlier... It's annoying you. There's please. nothing you can do to me. Go see I'm in the United States. You, you are in South Africa. I can deal with you financially. I deal with you anyway. The fact that you're calling me frustrated as you are, it shows that you can't take any of this. And this is affecting you. This is making you tiptoe. You can't sit peacefully. I want to. Your yeah, heart is heavy worry. right now. Your Facebook account will be blocked. Your, 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 your heart is heavy right now. You can't even I will breathe. personally write to Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg is not coming from Nigeria, yeah. my brother. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. Listen to me. <laughs> I know the right button to press. Mark Zuckerberg, so is, a, <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg is not a Yahoo, Yahoo, Yahoo boy from Nigeria, so he does not listen to fraudsters like yourself, a frustrated son, a son of a, a of a charlatan. Are you not a fraudster? <laughs> My brother, if Facebook was a Nigerian institution, maybe I'll be pleading with you right now. <laughs> But Facebook is a uh, well regulated. You need to get a real job. Institution. Get a job. Stop insulting pastors in Nigeria. I'm not insulting Don't them. Let me them. correct you, my brother. I'm not insulting these charlatans. You I'm, are insulting I'm them. correcting them. You are insulting them. I'm putting them in order. Okay, who made you a judge? What do you know? Who I talk to her? What do you know? I, I know. I know everything that you don't know. Who made you a judge? I'm self-appointed. Who made you a judge? I said, I'm self-appointed. You are appointed by who? By me. You are an antichrist. So yeah, that was it. You heard it for yourself. Now tell me what you think in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share the message. Let the world know who we are dealing with. It's a group of captured zombies who do not have the free will to think on their own. Ignorant folks who are in darkness, who are being led by blind men. So how can blind people like the Anishas the or the Depots, these are blind leaders. How can they lead these blind gullibles into light? To light. No ways. It's just a bunch of blind people that are leading each other astray. So when we try to bring light to them, when we try to shine light upon them, they become aggressive. Was light, the light is blinding their eyes. So till I meet you again on the next episode of the Enlightenment series, it's Mr. Pull the Trigger. I'm out.